Hello, Americans. Another friend subscribes around the world. Back again, man. So, going to, uh, this thing's been sitting for, should be drained out there. I think I'm going to pull on these, uh, cylinders. Let me pop off a couple of hoses, too. I want to get, try to drain everything. Oil. I don't want to drain the oil, but I want to drain everything that has the hydraulics in it. So I'm wondering about this back plug back here. I need to uh, need to figure out what plug that is. I just gotta have the trusty trusty manual. I'd lost it for a little bit. So, uh, hey man, one minute I'm putting a, one minute I'm putting some, hey, now I can see, one minute I'm putting some, uh, I can see, I don't think I can see you, but maybe, I'm looking right at you, man. um, one minute you're putting on, you know, some flannel, Next minute you're taking off. One minute you're wearing a felt hat. The next minute you're wet, wearing a palm hat. It, uh, do the weather temps. It's fluctuating. I got a shot of the mountain, man. Now the sun's reflecting off of it. A lot of snow up there. That's good. I'm glad to see that. Um, but, uh, whoa, dude. I don't know what the temp is right now. I'd say probably about 50. Let's take a guess. 54. <laughs> 54. Oh, you see it. But, uh, uh, when it's supposed to get up to 57 today, overnight lows went up too, up to 34. Now, like I said, 60, 60 degree and 40 degree days. You know, them uh, morels are definitely wanting to pop. Then we got Sunday, or the, yeah, the next day, man, 63. Overnight low 37, then 67, overnight low 47. That's what I'd like to see. And then it drops back down to 36, overnight low 35. You know, and you can't look too far ahead, but there's men, now they're saying rain and snow mix next week. What the hell is going on? Um, I'm going to call what the, uh, what the morel season is going to be like yet, but, uh, so far, it ain't looking too damn good. Anyway, we're talking about going up tomorrow, kicking around, you know, and then when, uh, even though it's not that far for us, you know, I can be on a rail patch in 15 minutes, man, from here, from, you know, from the creek bottom. Yeah, we find morels right here in the creek bottom, so, I mean, depending if I went to lower, you know, before, right on the tree line. Um, but even that, dude, when fuel is five bucks a gallon or more, you know, the green bean, if we take the green bean, man, it's 550s. So I haven't looked lately. But, you know, I have to use the ethanol free, man. No moonshine in the green bean. And uh, it's over 550 a gallon. So you figure, man, even, even though it gets damn good gas mileage at 550 a gallon, that, uh, that adds on to your on to your mushroom bill. So just to drive up there, you know, if the Thames, we'll see what happens for the rest of the day. There's rain coming right there. I can see rain over there. Um, actually, snow down at the one end of my mountain. Rain or snow. Dude, I'm not, man. Other than the screwing up my mushroom hunting, man, we need all the moisture we can... Uh, Get and I definitely want as much snow on that mountain as possible, dude. I see a dirt up there a few weeks ago before it dumped on us again. Man, and there was patches I started to see dirt. I thought, oh, dude, this is gonna be the driest year ever in my life. So, anyway, man, right now I'm moving over. I was gonna go work on the rabbit hutch, which I should. I need to work on the 
the Dodge. I've got the plug pulled out of the tractor, um, draining that. And then I'm actually going to do a little research to see about if I need to drain them hoses or if it just drains off or if somebody knows. You know, I'm not no big hydraulic tractor dude. But the cylinder, you know, I want all the all the creamy, white, watery hydraulic fluid out of there before I dump another $150 into it like I did last time. Um, so hopefully I'll be putting that back together. I'm just going to let it sit again for overnight. And then I'm actually clearing up. I've kind of changed my mind on what I was doing. Um, you know, I was talking about putting the motor home over there. And we're thinking we probably want to grow over here. Maybe put the, um, eventually put chickens and rabbits and, you know, talk about lambs. We've got the hogs coming. And now that I've got that open and I'm starting, I ain't got my pile done yet, but it's getting closer. Pile of wood, recycled, reclaimed. Um, so now I'm thinking about, because I'm going to finish off this building hopefully this year, cover the rest of the trailer there. You won't even be able to tell it was a trailer. It just looked like an old metal cabin or metal outbuilding. So, but I'm thinking about holding back, say, eight feet from the tongue of the trailer. So basically right in this area, but you can't really tell crap and you can't even see me. So what the hell does that do you get? Um, right now. Anyway, hanging over about where that barrel is and on back, I've got to get, I'm about ready to start charging that freaking ASAP toilet thing. I think they were supposed to pick that up last October. I think I need to back charge them. Kevin had had that called that in for um, when him and Briquet were staying here and stuff. And uh, they were supposed to pick it up. They didn't forget to send the bill, I'll tell you that. But uh, now I'm thinking I need to send them a bill for storage. It's a bunch of bullshit. I'll never order a toilet from them again, I'll tell you that. Uh, which I didn't do it anyway. Kevin did. Anyway, man, I'm going to get where that barrel is. I'm going to move that barrel, but I'm going to clear this. And I think I'm actually going to put the motor home here. And that'll leave the wood area and all that once I get that cleared up, man. Get my little outbuildings, and then we can want to do a little path or stairs down to the... Because right at the edge, you know, where you can see the trees, that's where it drops down into kind of a slough area down in the creek bottom. And... You know, this time of year, it's real muddy, a lot of holes and stuff. One of the, Tevin, Tevin was walking along and him and TNT last week had thrown a board over one and made a bridge. Well, Tevin fell off the bridge into the, into the slough. It was not deep enough what, to drown in or nothing, but uh, definitely going to get you wet and muddy. It was pretty funny. And we were watching, so we seen the whole thing. <laughs> Um, yeah, so I'm just going to start cleaning up this area, I think, a little bit. Need to get some more oil to recycle. Get Kevin's chair out of here. Whoa, get out of there. No. No. The brute just tried to open that gate. Yes, he did. The he don't like to be locked out of nowhere. Yeah, he's fine staying out of the garden area until we come in. Yeah, look, if we come in, then he thinks he needs to be yeah. in here. He just wants to be with us, I guess. Dude, that big old brute, I don't know. Well, I didn't get it on camera. That's too bad, man. He had his paw up on it and just push it against it, dude. He's 100 and well, probably one close, maybe close to 140. He's, yeah, uh, he's big. He's brute. Anyway, man, um, thought we'd finish this video off. Miss Kitty <laughs> does not like not being in here. Miss Kitty, uh, actually, we were having coffee this morning, and she says, uh, uh, I think I got a good uh, idea for some videos, you know, so why don't you explain that, Miss Kitty? Well, growing up, um, I spent a lot of time with my grandparents and watching the things that they did. And I carried that into my adult life. Um, and my, grand, my grandpa, one of my grandpas, not my only grandpa, he was born in 1900. So during the Great Depression, you know, he was in his 30s. <clears throat> and my grandma, she was a little bit younger than him, but also uh, through the Depression. So they had a lot of... Um, the ways that we don't live by now, um, reusing things. Uh, I remember when I was a kid, my grandpa or my grandma would always say, "Waste not, want not." 
and I have a very vivid memory of the time that I asked her what that meant and she just said if you waste it that means you didn't want it um, and over the years you know going through hard times and then not so hard times you'll do things differently in your life um, and I, I've noticed in the last couple months that I started doing some things that my grandma used to do um, my, all my grandparents, other grandparents also, uh, and I, th I think I can share that with you guys because it doesn't, you know, we, we talk a lot about prepping and um, bringing in food items to store, other things like that, but there's a lot you can do that you don't have to spend money, it is just changing how you're living. So the first thing I kind of wanted to share was just... Um, uh, your food budget, say, we'll start there. Your food budget, um, go ahead and, and spend the same amount that you've always spent. You don't have any extra money to put up stores, that's okay. But you can adjust what you're buying and how you're using it. So um, if you buy normal and live frugal, at the end of the month, you're going to have stuff left over that you can keep. Now you have to make sure that you're buying the stuff that will store. You don't want to spend your budget on produce that's going to go bad. So that's just a, a subject that we could talk about. What, what did? And another thing you could do is, um, I you, you know it's <clears throat> every part of the country, um, uh, different families, different lifestyles. They do things differently when they're trying to live frugal. And so we might have an idea that you haven't heard of, or you might have an idea that we haven't heard of. Um, and if you don't have the, the, the history of having your grandparents show you and tell you things, um, other people around you will. Um, you can just start simple conversations with them. You know, I remember my grandma, waste not, want not. Did your grandma ever say anything like that? You know, to, to start a conversation right. and, and get information back. Did your grandma ever do anything like that? Yeah, my grandma, absolutely. Grandma Bertha, all the, you know, always keeping and uh, keeping reusing, you know, items, man. Mm -hmm. um, grandma Joe, uh, I remember her man using, you know, that's which grandma, which grandma Joe's almost ninety now, but uh, in her generation. And I don't remember her keeping as much. You know, we're talking about when I'm talking keeping, you know, dude, and especially being in the, you know, the resale uh, um, junking business. I mean, you don't know how many estates and stuff that we've cleaned, hundreds and hundreds and hundreds. And we always found it, find it really interesting. And it ain't just the Mormons, man, you know, just no. it's more the generation that went through the Great Depression, mm -hmm. which we're headed for, I believe is going to be make the Great Depression look like a holiday is what I think we're headed to. I could be wrong, man. I hope I'm wrong, but that's what I think we're heading to. But anyway, getting back to that is, um, so many places we cleaned out, man. Uh, one was that dang old hog farm. It was pretty nasty in there, but man, the, they kept, I mean, there was every mayonnaise, sour cream, um, jars, you know, rinsing the old jars and stuff out. And I remember Grandma Bertha doing that to a point. She wasn't, you know, like extreme, dude, because man, I've been in some places like, dude, this is ridiculous. I had a grandma that was extreme on that. I'll just jump in and tell a quick story. When she passed away, she kept everything. I'm talking everything. I'm talking everything. <laughs> Um, and she was a crafter. She'd do a lot of things. Um, she'd do a lot of uh, crocheting. She'd make uh, uh, hot pads. Um, and she would take the rings off of a six pack of soda pop or beer or whatever and cut just one ring, take that ring, crochet around it, and then crochet her hot pad around oh, that awesome. so you could hang it up. That's awesome. When she passed away in 1986, we found a black yard garbage bag, a big you know, garbage bag full of those six pack rings. Huh. She kept everything. And then even a later generation is when your dad. Mm -hmm. Her yep. dad, dude, we pull, pulled glad trash bag, 55 <laughs> yes. gallon freaking. Multiple bags. Ma yeah, multiple trash bags full of worn out leather gloves. gloves. Just leather gloves. And he just kept them just, you know. What, 
You and, might I, need them. and I actually, man, the leather gloves have, I just threw a couple away in it, man. It was like, yeah. because, yeah. I mean, dude, if you do need a little chunk of leather, leather. man, you can ding yeah. there on the backside of it. You can ding yeah. there, make a medicine bundle or a little pouch or, you know, I mean, there's or, just so many, or a hinge. Or take two or three pairs and make repairs and make one pair. Right. All right. So I understand that, but man, yeah. when cleaning out, I'll tell you what, cleaning out a hoarder's place, man. Mm -hmm. Holy crap. That's yeah. what I always laugh when people, you're a hoarder. It's like, dude, I sell my crap and yeah. I get rid of it, man. Yeah. Dude, them, uh, yeah. them people don't. Mm -hmm. But I don't know, I think we got off yeah. subject here. Well, what kind of sparked my thought on, on sharing this with you guys was I, uh, the last couple of months I've been you know, doing things like I have been for the last couple of years. I get a mayonnaise jar, you know, you recycle it, you throw it away, whatever. And I went to do that, and I felt guilty. Because and we, I knew and better. we felt guilty for years. I knew better. Mm -hmm. So I went ahead and I took the label off, put that in the burn bag, washed out the mayonnaise jar, and put it in the drain board. Within 24 hours, he walked in. He says, I'm looking for something to put on this chicken water for now until we find a glass jar that fits. And he looks over, he sees that man he's trying to fix it up, twist it on, twist it on, screws right on, man. So instant, you got the instant top. reuse. So all you got to do, you know, to do that, obviously one of your Hillman's or whatever. Best foods. The, yeah, best foods. Whatever. One of your mayonnaise, you know, just the, the not the wide mouth, the small the mouth. Small, the and then you go pick up one of those $2, you know, mine came from a yard sale or mm -hmm. a uh, farm sale, but... You pick up them dang screw on, you know, I think mine's galvanized, but they have plastic ones, all that. And it's just, you know, managed. Or you don't have to buy the whole, you know, the whole component, man. I think at D&B or Tractor Supply, just that bottom piece is like two right. or three bucks, you know, right. versus if you buy the whole watering thing or right. the feed. It was actually a feeder. feeder. Was it? No, it was water. The water. Okay, it was water. Because you had the... First, first one he was using was an old mustard yeah, bottle. Yeah, it was a mustard one bottle. One of the big barrel-shaped. And for some reason, it was sucking down, I'd have to go by and go... Yeah, it wasn't working right. <laughs> it, it wasn't worked. working right. It worked, yeah. but I didn't. Well, and I, you man, I like to be able to level. see the, yeah, yeah. I like to be able to see the yeah. level of the water yeah. and everything. Yeah. But, but anyway, Kitty thought that we needed to go, you know, or do segments. Sure. Sure. And I don't know if we'll do, you know, whole videos, if we'll add them into mm -hmm. our videos, but we're going to just do a whole... Um, I've started taking notes on different things to share. So. And it's and it's how to and you know how to prepare for free you for know free. basically no to help money. I mean obviously uh, no extra money yeah I, I mean extra money even money. the garden you know man mm -hmm. it's yes you're getting free food but you did have to buy the seeds you right. know labor and stuff like that but um, but there's so many free things and living in this mm -hmm. this throwaway world right. you know that, we have to change right. our ways and. Uh, it's important right now. Absolutely, man. And I think, you know, and I think all the, uh, um, dude, and then not only that, if things go the way, you know, that I keep hearing and all that, um, plastic is petroleum. Mm -hmm. So, you know, your foods that come in the plastic, if you're able to buy the foods, but you may need, you know, it may, there may be a time in the future that that damn clear mayonnaise jar that I just used for the chicken feed water is, uh, you can't get your hands on them. Right. You know, which, I mean, if we went back to glass, I'm all for that. Yeah. yeah I prefer glass yeah. over, dude, I'm not a big plastic, you know, we definitely live in a plastic world, too, and yeah. I'm not a yeah. not a huge fan of that. Yeah. Something I want to touch on with your grandpa. Now, was it your, was it your grandpa's dad that came over with, or was it his dad that uh, came in the wagon train? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was my grandpa's dad. mother. Mother. Well, yeah. Story yeah. time! <laughs> it was mom and dad but um he was a polygamist and she was the eldest wife of of that family and in those days um the favored wife rode in the wagon with the husband well she happened to be in the back of the wagon train which tells you she was no longer the favorite she was the eldest um, and she had had enough so when they came to a fork in the road um, the wagon train went this way, and she took her kids and went this way. And that was your grandpa's mom. Mm -hmm. yeah. So just a cool, because right now was, and that was on the wagon. You know, they were talking Mormons. Yeah. And that was on the wagon train with. Uh, um, um, Joseph Smith. No, not no, Joseph um, Smith. Uh, shit. Ow. Really? <laughs> uh, Brigham Young. Brigham Young. Brigham yeah, Young. Yeah. Yep. So yep. yeah, which man. 
Yeah, I can read all into that. Like I said, man, we've said it and put it out there many times, you know, man. I was baptized Mormon yep. stuff when I was a kid. She was yep. Mormon when she was a kid. Taught us a lot. Ta yeah, they teach you a lot, a lot, man. There's nothing against, man. There's no. some of the nicest you know, people Absolutely. I know. I just don't believe what Especially they our believe. Families. You know, so, yeah, <laughs> I did most of my family is Mormons, you know. That's I just my beliefs are a little, you know, bit, are a little different. bit different than that. <laughs> nothing wrong, man. As no. long as you believe, that's a good thing. There was something else I was going to touch on when you were talking, but I didn't want to interrupt you. Look at that yeah. cherry tree. Yes, it is. Um, I guess I don't care yeah. what the, it was about yeah. the oh. keeping stuff. Yeah. Here. Okay. Another story on the recycling. Um, my, another grandma. Um, I was young and we were in the kitchen cooking. I can't oh, remember what we were cooking. I've heard this yeah. And um, she grabs, I'm not sure what we were doing she grabbed a, a a can an empty can tin can that she had opened up to use for dinner or whatever we were doing and she peeled off the label washed I thought you it. went and threw it away and she grabbed it back out oh she might have I she might have yeah, this is um, like rinsed it out washed it out and turned it upside down on the drain board and i said grandma what are you doing that's trash and she's like well i can't throw it away like this and i'm like but it's trash she said, well, if you peel off the label and you can put it in the, this bag over here, and Grandpa, when it's time to burn the burn barrel, he'll go burn it. I don't need to put that in the trash. And this can, I don't want to throw it in the trash because then it'll go to the dump, and I don't want to fill up the dump. So, so I'm going to wash it out, and I'm going to put it in the bag over here that has all my other tin cans in it. And I don't want it to smell, so that's why I'm washing it out. And it'll bring in bugs, and then it'll smell. So I'm going to put it over here. I said, well, what are you going to do with that? And she says, well, we can use those tin cans for something. Um, or if the, I get too many of them, then I can take them to the recycler. <laughs> and I had never, that was my first experience with um, recycling. recycling. Yeah, yeah. And you were what, how old then? Um, they were already in Baker. So early teens, mm -hmm. so it would have been in the 80s. Early so we 80s. need to get back to that. Yeah. That is part of the problem with mm -hmm. the society today. And then that was what I was going to touch on. It wasn't really the rinsing out or whatever, but it was the. Uh, I've been talking to a lot of. Um, well, anybody asking, I may have said this on this video, but anybody that, you know, when we're out and about, I don't care if it's a stranger, uh, just somebody I'm talking to at a yard sale or some of the kids and stuff that I know in my county or whatever but one of the questions I asked just because I'm so curious is are you getting ready for you know are you prepared man are you stocking up some water you know are you putting some canned foods away are you putting some food away plant a garden you know that's I, I asked that to just everybody and which actually my my niece and my kids and stuff just kind of roll their eyes on because I do it I drill everybody man freaking Kevin's girlfriend's mom that's the first thing I asked her you know because I'm curious and, and I've talked about it before of how many people are just oblivious, you know, and I mean, I understand not watching the news that's on TV, you know, we don't watch, you know, we got Netflix stuff, but we have no TV up here, you know, as far as regular, you know, old school TV, but um, the 20 somethings are up and this generation coming up, I am blown away and all your stories with the recycling and rinsing mm -hmm. and all that. You know, all they know about recycling and not in our county, you know, not yeah. in the country. Right. But down below is, hey, they're charging me, you know, 10 bucks or 20 bucks mm -hmm. for this damn bin that we're supposed to put this list of crap in. You know, that's all they know right. about recycling. They don't right. know the whole hoorah of it all. Right. So, we right. recycling and stuff's for a different time. But yeah. Anyway, man, we got some other chores to do. We're thinking about running up and checking. Uh, Man, I was talking about going over to Boise County, and we were talking, and it's like, dude, I don't even know if we can go over the hill to Boise County right now. There's a lot of snow up there. Yep, so I think we're probably going to end up taking a drive up just to see how far we can get, to see mm -hmm. if we can get into Boise County, and to see if we can mm -hmm. get to mm -hmm. some other patches now and we, stuff. We so. could take the long way, but that's a lot of gas. Oh, dude, yeah, I ain't doing that. Doing you had to go to Boise County if you wanted to stay on paved roads. Uh, I guess you'd have to go, well, I guess you could go down to Payette, over to Emmett, over to Horseshoe Bend, and, uh, and then you're in, the, in Boise mm -hmm. County then. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So that's, uh, that's a hell of a long ways, where I can go up over this mountain and be in Boise County in mm, 30 minutes? Yeah. <laughs> 30 or 40 minutes, man, yeah. into another, you know, into As long Boise as the road County. conditions. Yeah, as long as the road conditions. There's a big pile of snow, uh, you ain't going nowhere. 
So we'll take you along if that's where we head. And you have anything else you want to talk about nope. this one? We'll keep talking about it. Yeah, you, we'll guys, you guys talk about it amongst yourselves. Yeah, too. man. And I mean, feel free to put, yeah, put you know, comments. I've been trying to, yeah. you know, trying to stay up on the comments. Now we just got so much going on. I still got to do the rabbit cages. Mm -hmm. and Those comments down there. Yeah, we'll look at them, read them, but they're for you guys too. So share yeah, so with man, each other. Yeah, with each other and all that. Yeah. Just different, you know, things that you can come up with yeah. for and reuse, repurpose, mm -hmm. recycle, mm -hmm. all that stuff. Man, is so important. Yeah. Those you know, even cans, in these troubled times. Yeah, tin cans are great to hold nuts and bolts. No, oh, I, I got gobs of them. <laughs> especially, especially when uh, if any of the, the, what are they, gallon, what do they call those big ones? Number uh, 10 cans. Number 10 cans. Number 10 cans. Dude, if she gets, she knows not to throw mm -hmm. them. A number 10 can, old school. You know, without the, because now they've off. got that damn aluminum thing. I hate yeah. it. Man, if I came across, I look too, man, all the cheap coffees. Anytime we go to into like a new store, you know, and they'll have like a off brand of coffee. I'll flip the little plastic thing because if it, uh, if it's sealed up like a tin can should be sealed up, mm -hmm. I'm buying that. Yeah. But those cans, the cans are great. without a lip, man, they're great. Yeah. So. Uh, instant bucket. Yeah, Just exactly, like man. You can Whatever. drill a couple holes in it, put yeah. a, man, I can show you, t that's, there's another recycling. Yeah. My little buckets I make. Mm -hmm. You know, the first one zillion years ago that I made, Kitty was all, that is so cool. Where'd you get it? And I was all, <laughs> I made it. <laughs> I remember that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. Please remember to like, subscribe, and share. And check out the links below, the t-shirts. I haven't even checked to see if we've sold the t-shirts No, we lately. have not. It's need to design kind of a couple frizzled. of different. Well, the company started doing weird stuff and... I don't know. Yeah. I'm. I don't know. Yeah. So we'll still, but check out the t-shirts, man. The eBay store. Um, we're gonna get after it on the eBay thing more regular, mm -hmm. and our other sites because we've got other sites we mm -hmm. sell on. Um, Etsy. I gotta get kick Etsy in the butt too because I haven't been. Mm -mm. Um, yeah. I mean, we're selling some stuff and putting some stuff on. Just haven't. Been <laughs> trying to get prepared yeah. for whatever well, the hell's always, coming. This time of the year is always a little bit slower. Right. Um, yeah. In three weeks it's time to buy our wood permit yep. and every year every year in may about that time yeah it's mm -hmm. tough time around mm -hmm. wood time and then so that's normal you know getting the finally got the the youtube you know because when my mom passed away and all that the analytics and stuff for these videos it's such weird stuff mm -hmm. i don't know a ton about it but finally getting the videos back up to par and all that and then uh you know, like I said, eBay and sales and all that stuff, everything's well, kind of slowed down there for while, while my mom's stuff was going on. Still dealing with that crap. But other than that, man, good Lord willing, them creeks don't rise. We'll be back again tomorrow. See ya. Bye.